Amnesty International say the situation in Syria is the biggest humanitarian crisis in the world today. A place where 250,000 people are coping with the violent consequences of the political struggle without any access to food, water or medicine. The general sentiment within Syria at the moment is that um, the world has become uh, deaf and blind to their needs and the, um, you know, the international community has sort of like turned their backs and abandoned the Syrian people. And um, So we're doing this now, uh, tonight, as part of a global vigil. Um, there are going to be vigils across the globe um, tonight, tomorrow and kind of like for the rest of the weekend. Um, it's basically just uh, to show solidarity to the Syrian people and just to let them know that we haven't turned our backs on them and that we are watching and that we are you know, trying to do something about it. Starving as the Syrian army and its armed allies are blocking the entry of all food supplies. Suffering as they face brutal punishments. Dying as they have been cut off from medical assistance after the health facilities were targeted through indiscriminate attacks. The UK government's only allowed, I think, 500 refugees in, which I personally don't think is enough. Um, and we really need to do more and give more to try and make sure that these people are being provided for, like, for their very basic needs. They continue to face appalling human rights, but the support from others around the world is overwhelming. Three years has gone remarkably quickly and uh, I think we need to remember that there are 250,000 civilians that have been displaced. That's they lost their homes, they're living in besieged communities and crucially there's no aid getting to them. So yes, tonight is just about saying like it may have been three years but we haven't forgotten. There's still, um, um, although it may not be on the news every day, the news changes every day, like this is still a plight out there and people still need to respond to that. And that's why it's so important that um, tonight we're joined by our friends from Student Action from Refugees, FEMSOC, we're joined by friends of Palestine and we're all just here to sort of join in with everyone else around the country who tonight is saying like, we're still, we're still thinking about you and we're going to do something about it. Hoping and praying that this is the third and final year of the conflict.